right now i'm not even lying i'll pull up my account and show you guys there's no money in anyone Ima imagine if we did try at friday why it's saturday sunday thanksgiving will i come back here hey <laughs> Can you be less nosy in my situation and less nosy in the fact that I have to cover up to seem like I'm more Christian or I'm more, I'm more acceptable unto God? He created me the way he created me. Even the least 600k that they are saying, I don't have that to pay for the dress. I've accepted that I won't be the weight I thought I was going to be. And that's fine. That's cool. I'm still a speck. I learned to stop trying to play God. And just let God be God. Without this person, there's no you. You're not existing. You can't burn. You can't. <sighs> I honestly didn't think I was going to be this stressed. Today is um, July 29th and my wedding is coming up on October the 2nd. I'm thinking I'm going to be recording these clips and kind of like diaries before my wedding and kind of like put all of them together just to see what comes out of the whole experience because right now as at this moment in this day time <sighs> currently I'm supposed to be planning my wedding and I'm doing my skincare and they are luxury, like their stuff is really good. My wedding coming up in October. I don't have money for anything. It makes me so upset sometimes that I think, oh, I should have had, I should have had my um, savings in check, right? Lydia, you should have saved money all this time that you've been making money why is there no savings why don't you have money for your wedding I keep thinking and I'm like maybe other people maybe it's just me maybe I'm the one that is not prepared I didn't plan properly I'm not a good money user or money spender I didn't invest in good um, properties and stuff or good like money making opportunities I don't have a business you know I'm solely dependent on my Instagram and my YouTube which is crazy to me because I know that I'm meant to have had or done better choices and or moved somewhere even better because to be very honest KD is not it sometimes I'm sure if I was somewhere like Lagos, I would have been got getting like way more jobs, you know, even with influencing. Let's not even talk about the regular makeup, just influencing alone. Like the brands I would have been able to work with because of my talent and my expertise and artistry. But for some reason I'm still here and if I'm being very honest with you, I've not fully figured out why I never left KD. I just always thought maybe it was my dad. You know telling me i had to wait till i was married and it took something happening recently with my younger sister peace for me to understand that okay oh, yeah the one that really decided to stay in this kd if you wanted to leave and go to lagos or abuja or somewhere like if you were not that much of a homebody or you were not that much of a scary cat because i'm telling you moving for me is very scary Anyway, it took me being like a uh, moisturizer. I'm sorry, these sessions are going to be quite long. Only God knows how long the entire video is going to be because I'm not about to cut out anything. But it took me being um, now being in this relationship, excited about being married to him, 
having so many because before right i didn't think i needed money for anything i don't know if that makes sense because i was not thinking of paying rent the only rent i was thinking of paying was my studio and that was up until two years ago and i was making some money before that so I didn't think to pay, I didn't need to pay rent, like the only thing I spent my money on was food, right? And that was why I got, I added so much to it, it was really just food, nothing else. I didn't even buy a new phone. I've been using this phone since, um, this is iPhone 7 Plus, I've been using it since 2017, this is 2021. Should I've been able to save up to get one, but I haven't been able to. And I'm not the kind of girl that people will be dating and they'll buy them new phone. I've never experienced. I know it's going to happen in more in my marriage now because of the kind of man I'm with. But I've never experienced anyone doing anything for me. He. You will learn to know that I, I like to divert a lot. I've kind of cut it out from my other videos, but you will learn to know that I like to talk and come back to the topic I'm trying to discuss. But basically, I know it will get better in my marriage, but I've never been that girl that someone is dating and they decide to get them a new phone. Hi coach. Hi coach. All all this time, like all this money I've made, you think I've saved enough to get myself a new phone? I just always saw it as a very huge investment and at those times then I'll see out there will be money gathered up, right? I'll like okay, I want to get this new iPhone. Let me not lie, there really isn't money gathered up. I just would want to get a new phone but at that time there will be no money or I would see something else that needs the money do you get so I just give it to that and say okay phone can wait it's not that serious but right now I really want a new phone I'm tired of using this one I deserve a new phone and I've also never been able to afford the brand new like you know straight out of the box iPhone that you just peel the casing you peel the screen i think i got the iphone 5 it was my mom that got that one for me that was the only one i think i've ever peeled the, this thing from and that one was so faulty it was so faulty i think that was scared me from buying new iphones i swear i'll I would like to buy the ones that have been tested <laughs> ah, it was so faulty so annoying i just remembered how annoying that phone was anyway back to my talk it took me being in all of this time like i'm planning a wedding trying to get married here trying to start a life and i now understand why money is important if that's maybe that's where i'm getting to wishing i had made better decisions i had you know just been a better person overall with money let's see if i ever make it lot here to be honest that's why i'm trying i really love this oil it's like my absolute favorite thing oh, it's pouring everywhere though so uh i honestly don't know man like right now i'm not even lying i'll pull up my account and show you guys there's no money in anyone you know those times that they say entrepreneurs have a lot of money and then sometimes they don't this time is one of those times that i don't have anything like my baby sister's birthday is coming up on first august she had given us a list of things she wanted for her gifts I wrote them down in my notes on my phone that I was going to at least get her some of them. She wanted books, diary of a wimpy kid. She wanted a new phone, you know, things that I would have been able to do. All those things, like, I can't give her anything. I was only just barely able to afford giving her money to make a new hair. Because she wanted to make a new hair for her birthday. Braids, long braids. Really cute. 
what I'm trying to say is my wedding is coming up on October and that's exactly two months from now because I'm not even going to count October. October 2nd is just barely October. You know, it's not October 15th or October 28th or something like that. So it's like just August and September. At this moment, I've not paid my wedding planner. Like I've not given her money to help pay like the decorators. Uh, I've not made my dress. My dress is what's giving me major anxiety right now. I don't know what I'm going to end up wearing. It's like I have this image of the bride I want to look like walking down the aisle. Well, you know that thing where they say what you want but what you can afford. What I can afford is not a custom-made beautiful dress right now. Like I asked for the price of one that I really liked, and I'm going to be very plain with you, just telling you everything how it is. Because, like I said, it's a diary for me. It was, they told me between 600,000 Naira to 1.5 million Naira. And that the dress I wanted to make, I'm just estimating because they wouldn't tell me the price, the exact price of that dress. They said this is just their price range. Even the least 600k that they are saying, I don't have that to pay for the dress. And it's crazy to me because I don't even know if the 600k is even. Oh my god. Hello? Ah, oh, I'm supposed to be stretching to go to the gym. Like, it's my coach I'm talking to. And I have to go <laughs> right now. Well, basically, my dress, I can't afford it. I'm looking at currently trying to see if I can get options available for rentals. And. I've been looking for, I've seen only two options and they don't have really nice gowns. The other ones are in Lagos and I can't afford to be booking a flight just to go and test a dress and come back. But if that becomes my only option, if I can't get a dress made, I would have to spend like 80k, 100k going to Lagos to test this dress, bringing it back to KD. And then probably finding a way to rebuild it back when because everybody's just telling me in my head right now um not everybody my baby is not telling me that but like my parents my dad one yesterday he came was telling me i heard you want to make your wedding dress for one thousand one million i'm like where did you hear me where did i have i even seen that kind of money in a while like where did you it's so stressful i don't see people talking about it for I don't know what to do. Maybe other people have theirs figured out. Like I wish I was more stable financially, more successful. Like I've never been trained to look at any other person to bankroll me or finance me. Do you get like so I wish I was more stable, you know, to be able to say, okay, this is my dress, this one I want, how much does it take the money, this is the decor I want, how much does it take the money, this kind of bouquet I want, how much does it take the money, like, that's not happening. I don't know what's going to turn out like, to be honest with you. I'm currently expecting a payment from a brand I'm working with, and that's barely half a million, so... I'm thinking to use that to start my dress, to start like if I need to order stuff, or if I need to pay for stuff, like I don't know what to do at this point, just barely two months, I don't even know if I can even make any dress at this point, maybe just a dress away for my Thanksgiving and my reception, but I would need to either rent or buy a new dress, the way everything is going thinking to use that same tailor that made my other dresses but I'm also scared that he won't be able to get the amount of details I want but I also I'm telling myself well if you want that kind of detail paid attention to you should be able to get money and pay the right people to do it like where does cutting costs really stop do you get I mean I, I don't plan to get married ever again in my life and I want to look back on these pictures and just have nice memories I don't want to have any like I wish my dress were better, I wish this was this way, you know? Somehow I honestly wish we could like 
push the date or something like move it forward <sighs> anyway 29 July my first entry into my wedding diary sessions you know stuff I hope I keep up with it I'll give you um, I'll document very freely as I can I really don't want to hold anything back I also want to be able to come see this when I'm older. One thing is just set in, I'm very excited I'm getting married to this man. I just wish there was money. When the video sang that thing, when money and all of his sweetheart, like, I just wish I had the kind of money for the kind of things I want, you know? My eye is very big, but my money right now isn't. simple but sophisticated is the vibe I want to go for for my wedding <sighs> two months to our wedding and we've only for certain paid a down payment on the event center it's a garden by the way like a park type thing I have to go now I have to go to the gym okay I'll see you when next I see you Give this video a thumbs up. That's assuming I post this to YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. <sighs> Believe it or not, I just had a huge argument with my mom on why church rules are just too much for people. Like, you dictate what we are going to wear. Yes, I know I'm not going to expose my chest. I'm not going to expose my um, body. But like, you dictate how I dress. You dictate what I wear. You dictate what my husband wears. How we appear. We are not, we are not in a military situation. Like, Allah was be expressive. It's our wedding day. They, she's even telling me now that they are telling us how to dress to come for the first showing in the church. Like, where they will announce to the church that we are getting married. I won't dress in a wayward manner. But can you leave me alone? I'm not a child. They will check, they, they already said they will check our wedding dress um, like a week before. They have to look at our wedding dress. Good and fine. You want to see what I'm wearing. You want to make sure it's, it's um, compliant, right? Okay, but like, you're not, you're not um, going to trust that after you check it out once, I will wear what you've checked. You think I'm still mad, I'll go and buy another wedding dress when there's only two days to my wedding. And then I'll still do that again. I'll still come again two days before. And I'll still come on that day by 8.30 when the wedding is by 10. To do what? And we're going to have rehearsal before that time. Like, they're so set in their ways. If you're part of all these Pentecostal actors I'm talking about, you will know what I'm talking about. Especially if you've gotten married. There's, nobody does that. Like, I'm not trying to go against anybody, but like... There's, there's some points where the rules have to be a bit easy. It's too much. We are not... We... Now, why she's getting upset is because I say we can't make it to church by 8.30 in the morning when the wedding is by 10, which they clearly announced to us. Like, we are supposed to be in the church by 8.30. When will the girls finish doing their makeup? When will I finish my makeup? When will we finish taking pictures? When will we even get to church? You know how things just come up on the wedding days? I just wanted to document that. You might not see it, you might see it, but like, it's very frustrating, honestly. Nigerian churches can have very frustrating rules, very constricting rules. Like, if I expose my body, I'm, that doesn't make me a sinner. That doesn't make me a hoe. Like, that doesn't make me a prostitute. And I know not to expose my body in church. Esther, please excuse me. And I know not to expose it in church. But like it's so, can you trust that I'm an adult and I will make good decisions? Can you just trust that? Can you be less nosy in my situation and less nosy in the fact that I have to cover up to seem like I'm more Christian, I'm more, I'm more acceptable unto God? He created me the way he created me. I was praying, you know. 
me husband come now i'm feeling lonely oh time don't go do make my daughter i'm currently packing to go to my no, 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 husband's no, no. house and my mom doesn't want to allow me i don't me. want to i don't want to Kill the whole place yeah. is lonely. Yeah. <laughs> box on that they want me to bring. Yeah, the big one. Very, very <laughs> lonely. Very, very, very. Eh? Mommy said so I should not go. Yes, yeah, so I'll be. You yeah. can just be visiting I'll, you. She no. said she said that I should go. I should I should go to the house. One week. Also's house for one week. Then I'll come to with him. I'll, one week. I'll come here one week. Uh, then I'll, him. Wow, mm. mother. Don't worry. I'll come and visit you. That is what I say, you hear back? No, not that. You will be time. calling me. You will be calling me. How are you? How are you, mom? <laughs> in, in oh like my that. god. So Mommy this, love. So this is life. Maybe you pray for husband. Husband have pray, come. Eh? I didn't know that it will be like this. I say it should wait after one month of wedding. <laughs> wow. At least may it give me Jaran and let me. One more one it. more month. Mm. But you have you are lucky. Yo. How? We did the intro last year. Mm-hmm. We did um, cuts months ago. Mm-hmm. Imagine if we did all of them together at once. Do you know how much more shocking that would have been to you? Meaning that you will not go immediately. Yes, immediately. now if we had finished all the events. Immediately, see, immediately. Mommy, if we had finished every event, would I still be here? Immediately. Wait, now ima- imagine if we did Trad Friday, White Saturday, Sunday, Thanksgiving. Will I come back here? Hey! <laughs> Ah, wow, oh, bad. my room is currently a mess. Just packing. There's a lot of clothes everywhere. That is why she's she's having emotional. Yes. Oh, don't, don't be sad, mommy. Cutie. Don't worry. I love you. Small time. For my piece will be packing. Oh. Yeah? They will just leave me alone. Oh, like, no mommy. I love love. Picking, you. No. We are plenty. We are plenty. Very soon, you your children's children will surround you. Don't worry, we'll come and we'll come and be keeping them for you so that you'll be carrying them for us. Okay. Cutie! Mm-hmm. I love you. Love you. Aww. I'm missing you. I'll miss you too, my love. I say even myself, <sighs> I know one go. I'm even happy that the events didn't come together at once. If not, it would have been overwhelming for me to yeah, so, to process it at once. You know people actually go into uh, it's not easy. Um, depression, packing, yes. just changing like that. Mm. Okay, hello. Um, this is, I will believe, the second or third entry into this video that I'm making. But okay, deep breaths. Hi, today is um twenty fourth September twenty twenty one, and it's currently some days to my wedding. Um, I'm currently packing my stuff. That's what I was meant to do it yesterday, but. Once I came back from the gym, cause I'm really trying to go hard to just look good on my wedding day. I've accepted that I won't be the weight I thought I was going to be, and that's fine. That's cool. I'm still a speck, but I just want to keep going as hard as I can, just so I feel like I'll look my best on my wedding day. But anyway. When I came up from the gym, I got I can deviate from this Sha. Sorry. When I came back from the gym, I was really tired. Plus the weather was very like rainy, nice. So I just slept. And when I woke up, my baby came to see me yesterday, and then that was it. That was how my day went yesterday. When I'm done, you will see a clip or you will see a vlog where I'm packing or something. I don't know if I'll show it here or in another video. Love is not enough, baby. Yeah. Me, I just want to be happy. Yeah. Me, I just want to be I just want to be happy. Yeah. And once I'm done packing, 
um, tomorrow I'm going to start moving my heavy stuff so I'll get like a pickup truck to come help me take like the stuff I've packed and that's just it so packing is going on right now to my husband's house and another thing that is going on that I talked to you guys about was like I'm so excited because somehow through this journey of trying to get married and being very open with whoever is watching I learned to stop trying to play God and just let God be God I learned to have faith and you won't believe the ways God has come through he does he has done some things and I'm like wow you really know the end from the beginning don't you like I'm slowly learning to fully trust God again because a lot happened to me that made me just say okay oh, do I really need to trust anybody up there I mean I can do this for myself if I want money I can work hard for it but it's God that ultimately gives me that money it's God that ultimately shares that money with like gives people to give me or pay me for jobs and stuff I guess I'm just being more grateful because this wedding planning has really taught me a lot my parents could have really been like late or not be able to support me or support us and I know how I would have felt that differently but like my mom the stress the stress I would have felt because I thought I was going to get a planner and I actually started out with someone but she wasn't really like I don't know she didn't turn out to be what I expected plus she was offering me to do it for free so I guess I kind of expected that um, treatment that I got but I was like okay since it's free what harm will it do anyway so that didn't work out and I don't have a planner um, and to be honest the way I'm vibing with this wedding is just control what you can leave the rest like I've been to enough weddings to know what really matters you see my pictures I'm not joking with my pictures my videos my dress the way my train looks the way my parents look um, them having food to eat on that day the way the venue looks like those are the things I can control but you see every other extra extra things like I'm not even going to stress myself because at the end of the day people will that memory is gone from their heads do you get just the, the vibe the ambience the happiness the memories I want to create that day is what I'm focusing on that's the no stress zone I'm approaching this my wedding with and <sighs> wedding planning right now is, is it's okay it's going well we've made like payments for most of the stuff part payments but like we'll complete most of them very soon good thing we're in kd things are not overly expensive like you know other locations so another thing is my dress so my dress is currently being made i think i'll do a get ready with me talking more about the process it took me to get that dress like i think I'll, i should shoot one that has that like just telling you briefly but basically i wanted dresses that were like 800 k 900 k and if i'm being honest with you like that's a lot for me that's a lot for my budget and i wanted to be able to do my stuff myself for my wedding my husband has been supporting me very well he's paid for we'll get to that but like he's paid for pretty much a lot of stuff so i wanted to take care of my dress i wanted that to be my own like it's me that made my dress solely my man didn't give me any money for it 800k shot too much for my budget right now so I tried to see if I could get one to make for 400k but the time I, I got her was late and I ended up ordering material I ended up ordering from Biola like from Amazon and Biola Beauty helped me ship it I'm going to leave her 
handle here please go and follow her she has a candle page and she has she sells skincare and she pretty much can help you order anything you know how you pay those excessive amounts for shipping sometimes from some websites like she literally charges pennies for helping you ship these things and you get to them they get to me in lagos in time i ordered so many of my stuff ending of september if i was to use the regular way it would take three months and my wedding is october so well she got them to me um september she got them to me like mid-september i ordered them ending of august sorry and it got to me mid-september ending of september my villa channel arrived but i'm working on a backup plan with that but my veil that i wanted with butterflies has not arrived hopefully it arrives that's another um update um yeah i think that's it so my dress cost me to order them the lace and everything cost me about 300k yeah 300k and i'm having that my guy make it for me like at this point I cannot have the um, fancy names that I wish I could but at the end of the day I'm just focusing on you know making myself look pretty I'm looking forward to getting married to that man oh my god you see tears is coming in my eye I know I'll be crying so much on the wedding day but I'm trying to tell myself that because if i really sit down and think about the gift that that man is <sighs> we're not going to finish this video don't cry lydia you queen that you are <sighs> <sighs> yeah my dress is being made by that guy i think he'll do a good job plus He's really good, like he's mastered my body to an extent, so I feel he'll do a good job. I'm just trusting him because he has seen a lot of my dresses. He has seen me react to a lot of mistakes that a lot of people will not react to. Like he knows the kind of person I am when it comes to detail. So I'm hoping that will translate into this dress. And my two dresses are just simple. You know me, I'm a simple girl. The glitter and the glitz is nice, but that's not the person I'm becoming. I've noticed that I'm more at peace with very gentle things. That's why somehow making colorful long nails now is disturbing my head. But that's just where I am right now mentally. So, And I feel it will look nice, it will look timeless when I wear something very simple. Like you can't tell what time, what era those pictures will be taken. Like... I'm so happy for my bouquet. I made my bouquet myself. That's another update. Oh my god. But I'm kind of splitting these videos in several parts. Like I'm kind of recording things I think you would like to see or things that people might ask. Oh, how did you do it? So I made a video of that bouquet. Even though it was not a tutorial, but you just see me trying to make it. Like I was starting myself so hard. Sometimes I underestimate the magnanimity of the gifts god placed in me because i don't know how he helped me do it but i wanted sunflower bouquet and i made a sunflower bouquet that looked like i picked it from the garden i i just had inspo to like other plants that look like they are fading from fall like they are withering away because my wedding is in october so it's not like fresh spring anymore and but now I think this video, my wedding should be done already. So I'm going to put pictures of the bouquet. Like, I'm super proud of myself. Um, that's the update. Yeah. 20. Let me count how many days it's officially to the wedding now. It's officially 8 days. Because 1st October is the 8th day and... 2nd October is my wedding day I never thought October would be my wedding day because like someone's special birthday someone's anniversary something do you get I know people control it but in my case I couldn't control it it just happened to be October 2nd after my beloved country's independence hmm. anyway 
I'm going to always celebrate my anniversary day after Nigeria's independence, which is an iconic date if you ask me to. So I've accepted October 2nd as my anniversary each year. I'm so happy. I can't wait to be completely a missus because it's just something very beautiful. Especially if you get married to someone that you really feel like your whole world revolves around, like like they're your other half, they're your twin flame. You know, like without this person, there's no you. You're not existing. You can't burn. You can't burn how you're meant to burn without your twin flame. And I feel like I've met mine. I know I've met mine. I feel like though I'm about to walk down the aisle. That's just the level of vibes I mean. I didn't have Ashrebi girls because I just wanted to protect my energy as much as possible. That's why I'm not picking up a lot of things. Like things I know I cannot handle. I'm deciding to leave it like it's not gonna you're not gonna ruin my day. You're not you're not gonna ruin my day. You're, you're not gonna ruin it. So I don't know how that day is going to be honestly. I might not even have time to talk again to the camera till it's wedding day. Or I don't know how it's going to be. I just know I'm going to vibe that morning, do my makeup, something very, you know, Lydia, something that won't change me so much, but like still portray me. You know, I want my baby girl to look at my picture and say, "Oh, mommy, you're so beautiful. You look so angelic on your wedding day." <laughs> Whew. I'm getting married me never thought i'll get married though never thought i'll get married i didn't understand the concept of forever of somebody i didn't understand the concept at all but i'm happy i'm grateful i'm excited I'm scared a little bit Oh, majorly excited to start living with this man already to start building our lives together already like we're going to be a force to be reckoned with I can feel it I know it and I cannot wait for it to come to manifest when it's time when it's right I'm leaving to go to my husband's house so this will be the last video I record here. God day, Sha. God day. I'm almost so emotional. <laughs> I'm speaking positivity. Nothing will stress me out. So I might check in with you on wedding day or like the night before a bridal shower or something. I don't know. Not bridal shower. I'm not sure I'll be this sober during my shower. That's if I even get to have one. I don't know if I'll plan one because to me right now that's extra stress but like if one happens it would be so nice I'm hoping I'll be surprised but I don't have a lot of girls so that'll surprise me like I don't have a lot of friends that will like come together and say oh they want to plan a surprise shower for you who knows I might get a surprise shower I might not either way it's fine I might I might organize something chill Depends on how I feel. If I feel like doing anything, I will. If I don't, I won't. Okay? Bye. So, this is currently three days to the wedding. We just moved in yesterday. So, day before yesterday, sorry, two days ago. And it's been amazing so far. I'm excited about everything. My dress is ready, my man's suit is ready, and just the tiny details I was worried about is just coming into place. We had our pre wedding shoot yesterday, it was so beautiful. My goodness, like I feel like every time I plan this kind of things, God just keeps looking at me. He's like, Hmm, do you really think what you've planned? I've not planned way better for you. I didn't have nails the day before. These were just press-ons and they were very cheap, like very cheap press-on nails, but I didn't have it. 
I didn't have nails and because of how we were busy moving I could not change like go to fix my nails at Mark's place so I just told Esther to go check and I've had this since I did a sponsored post last year June or July and we, we were supposed to throw this away but we didn't throw it away and in that moment of like 10 minutes we got this as a solution and two of my dresses were ended up being pink that was not the plan but they ended up being pink and see it's complete like it matched my outfit so much the pictures came out so beautiful it was like i had thought about using pinkness all along but it was just that moment god made the day so nice the trees oh like it was so beautiful and deep photos is amazing that guy's that guy's like creative eye my goodness and he just he puts you in poses like if you someone that is going to work with deep photos just obey the poses that he's putting you in because you don't know what he's seeing because what i was seeing was not what he was seeing i wanted us to stand and face the sun so that you know like golden hour oh, sun is going on us he said we should back it and the shots that came from that backing it was like god himself was saying yes these are my children and i am blessing them like the light was so golden it was so perfect it was so beautiful oh like yesterday was just perfect so we've done our pre-wedding my friend sandra is coming in friday priscilla is making my cake i've never had anybody do my makeup before and i've grown to love a certain way my face looks when i do my makeup so if i don't get anyone that can do it exactly that way i feel like i'm going to be very unhappy so i'm just going to just chill and i don't want to make anybody feel a certain type of way i book someone and then be correcting them like oh no this is not how i like my brow i could have been easier if i didn't know anything about makeup it would have been so much easier but now i do and it's quite difficult trusting so i'm going to do my makeup myself so nobody will be offended and i'll be cool my plan is to wake up early and start and just vibe you know chill i already know how time flies for makeup so all those time wasting i hope i'm able to cut it i know how to save time and i'm hoping that girls will be ready by seven fingers crossed and we'll start taking pictures before they say we should come to church and we'll calmly go to church like we'll not be rushing it's all cool good day for us and i'm looking forward to my wedding day uh, thank you so much for watching this is where i'm actually going to end this series of talking i promise you i won't record another video um thank you for watching thank you for sending in your sweet sweet comments thank you for all the prayers and people who sent in um, money to us, who sent in gifts to us, we're very grateful. I'm very grateful. Like people have come up and they said, "Oh, send me your account number. I just want to send you a wedding gift." And it's been quite amazing. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to see all your amazing, amazing butterflies in my next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy videos so far on my um, wedding series? I don't know which ones would have gone up by now, but comment the one you enjoyed the most. Just talk to me in the comments, okay? I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi. Um, I know I said I was going to see you on my wedding day, but today is the day before and I just wanted to record my final thoughts before tomorrow. Today has really taught me a lot of things, it's taught me to be patient. It stopped me to try to always control my energies and I actually am learning more from my husband than I think I am because me usually when something goes wrong I just shut down like I'm either so angry or so sad I don't think of a solution but he 
his approach his approach is okay this is not working how do i make it work what can i do to find a solution how can i make it work and today he just taught me that i really am learning that method from him I honestly didn't think I was going to be this stressed and it's more mental exhaustion than anything else to be honest because I've actually not done much to warrant me to be physically exhausted but you see my head it's exhausted and I'm excited about tomorrow I'm really excited. Just very stressed right now. I'm just hoping tomorrow it's better and I don't feel any of what I'm feeling now. I just tested my robe that someone made for me as a gift, the Tonya Drips, and I'm really excited that it fits. I just need to do a little bit of I don't know if there will even be time for that, to be honest. I'll just rock my chest like this. Maybe just use boob tape. Use boob tape and leave it really open this way. Because at this point, I, this is the first time I'm testing it, so I couldn't do any corrections. But it's really nice. I like the sleeves. And my bouquet too. I just did a bouquet check on my vlog. You see that, so I don't have to show you twice. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm just very stressed. I didn't know I was going to get this stress today. But hopefully for the rest of the night, my makeup artist is still on her way home. Nigeria will stress you out, my God. She's still on her way, so hopefully she gets here in time. Like, before it's 12 midnight. I've gotten someone to call her. But right now, his number is not going. Her number is not going. This weekend, that's another thing that has been so stressful. My goodness, <gasps> it cut off the communication. So, the network in our area is terrible. Like, the whole local government, like, they don't even care. Basically, once you cross Kaduna Bridge to the northern part of Kaduna, you get network. Once you cross that bridge back to the southern part of Kaduna, there is no network. And imagine how extra stressful it is trying to call people, communicate on the weekend of your wedding. We are basically planning this wedding without communication, like adequate communication. For my husband to be able to send our first dance song to our DJ, he had to drive to town um, close to the um, bridge to be able to do that close to our church. And then I can't post pre-wedding pictures because there's no network. I can't tell you guys I'm getting married to love of my life online because there's no network. Only God knows when it's going to be reinstated. Like, this weekend I've just been... I'm telling you, I didn't know it was going to be like this. I swear. But I'm in my room now. My friends have arrived. Sandra came all the way from Lagos. And... Uh, Priscilla came from ABG. She's the one that is making my cake. So I'm going to go see her soon and see my cake for the first time. And yeah, I'll see you guys when. Well, I'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow. I'm just looking forward to vibe, man. Like, I don't want to be stressed tomorrow at all. I want to remember tomorrow and be happy. It's all good. <laughs>